Hi, so I just want to do an update. I just, just recorded a video, but the uh, microphone wasn't working, so just another one. Um, yeah, so what I was talking about was um, just what I've been doing, what was on my mind. Um, I just wanted to talk about, um, it's quite last couple of weeks, the voices were really intense and really loud. Um, and the reason that was, because I mean, usually the intensity is not that bad. That's why I returned to the workplace because the intensity was bearable. But over the last two weeks, it was it was pretty bad because what happened was I had an argument with my brother, and I was furious. And I, when I get furious the voices get really loud and bad and intense. I've noticed that before. So really, I need to stay calm. I need to, um, I need to be calm to, uh, to um, make sure the voices don't get too loud. That's kind of like a, I guess it's like my weakness if I get if somebody makes me too angry then I'll suffer for like the next two weeks so I can't I've got to I just got to stay calm but um, yeah I mean it's like on Facebook I made a few posts I was like venting I think one particular day I was so angry and it was just like a, a venting. But like like somebody said, in a way it's, it's healthy. It's healthy to get, to let, let it all come out. Just release the anger. I mean, it actually does feel good when you're, when you kind of vent, you know, it does, it does actually feel good. But then obviously a few days later I felt embarrassed and I thought, you know, that's, it's probably might have come across as a bit rude and hostile. But um, that was, uh, that's what happened. And um, yes, yeah, so what I was talking about, I just want to have a little catch up on what I'm doing, where I'm at. So, um, so with work, I've been working since last October, so it's about a year now, it's almost exactly a year. Um, and that actually, that was my original goal, was to see if I could make, make a year. And then I thought, I even had plans I might quit after one year and just take some time off, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep on going. But I guess what I was thinking is like a uh, last few weeks I've applied for a few jobs. You know, the jobs that offer better benefits, but I kind of think I will probably stay where I am. I think, um, you know, I work for the NHS, the salary's not that great, but there are upsides to it. There are there are benefits. And you know, my boss likes me. He praises me. He doesn't want to lose me. Um, we've got a good team. I've made friends there. You know, I don't I think I should probably stay a little while. Um stay a little while longer. I try I try and stay this year make it out until Christmas and then think about it again um, because what it was we were supposed to move offices from the hospital to Bruno University and that would have been modern nice offices but that kind of fell through and that kind of made me upset and I thought okay we've been looking forward to this for months now and it's not going to go ahead so that's kind of, that was one of the trigger points that made me apply for some jobs. 
But I, I mean, I do think it's healthy to go to interviews now and then, but yeah, I think I'll probably stay where I am for the time being. And um, so yeah, so this weekend I've just been relaxing. I was watching the Christian Bale Batman films on the, on the TV, um, which is nice. Because so the house is kind of quiet now. I mean, Dad's passed away now. He passed away in August. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, with my dad, I mean, we kind of suspected he had dementia. He was showing all the sign, the classic signs of dementia, but he was never officially diagnosed. Um, I mean, I I suspected it was dementia last year because, you know, I'm intimate with mental health. I kind of know it very well, and I did feel that he he had some mental health issues, and and when you're that age. It's dementia is usually the usually what it is, but um, he was never officially diagnosed. Yeah, so me and my brother were we're just discussing what to do with the ashes, so we're gonna put them in my mother's grave, and get the headstone updated. So probably me and bro will probably go to cemetery one day and. Pay our respects. So. Yeah. So in November, me and some friends were going. We're meeting up in Edinburgh. Uh, some school friends. Uh, which will be nice. We don't meet up as often as I would like. I would like us to meet more often, more frequently. Especially now Dad's gone. I think I value friendships. You know that's important to me, especially. You know. You know you make friends when you're young. You don't kind of make friends like that when you get older. It's not. You you do make friends, but. The friendships when you're young, they kind of mean something. As they mean something different. I think it's important to. To um. Hold that dear. And um, what else? Yeah, my my driving license. I haven't got my driving license back yet because I I quite fancy buying a car and maybe some two wheel transport as well, like a scooter or a motorbike or something. But um, I mean, what I was planning, I quite fancy getting an old estate car. Um, I mean, these, if you get a decent model, you can, these can last for miles and miles. I don't really care if it's got high mileage. Um, as long, if it's well maintained, got no um, serious issues with it. I mean, I'll probably do one of those vehicle checks. If it passes the vehicle checks, I'll just buy it. I reckon. If you know, obviously, I'll choose the model I want. But. Um, I'll probably just do that. I'll just, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of money. <coughs> it's just, um, it's just it, because I, I, I probably won't drive to work. I mean, I wasn't planning to. It's what well, I was planning to do. It's mainly for to help, you know, clearing out the house. We got to clear out the house, and we need a like a big car for that, and also. Probably I quite like to do some touring, take my bicycle, take all my gadgets, um, and do some touring. Do some, and you know, go to somewhere, do do some cycling trips and stuff like that. And I, I, I kind of think like an estate car. It's not. I think they're going to be better cared for. Like the people who buy estate cars are kind of usually more mature people. You know, people buy coupes, saloon, they like smoking in them, they hack the engines. 
But I kind of think like an estate car is probably a safer bet. And you get a lot of car for your money. So yeah, that's kind of what I think I would do. And then I'll probably work through this year. Probably won't take much holiday. I'll probably, well, me and bro are going to Scotland in for Christmas to see our family up there. Um, I haven't been back there since 2010, so that would be nice. A few of them came down for the funeral as well, so. Yeah. So that's about it, really. I'm just going to kind of focus on my work. And on the weekends, I want to get outdoors again. I want to experience the winter hiking season. Um, I have got winter hiking gear. Like, yeah, the main, the main thing I bought, like a waterproof trousers and uh, um, winter hiking boots. So, um, so yeah, so... That's pretty much it, really. It's just, I just wanted to make an update video. Um, I haven't made a video for a while. I'll probably, I, w I will take my GoPro when I go hiking this weekend. Um, I, it's quite, I, <laughs> it's quite, it's kind of fun uh, watching my, watching the video when I come home. Okay, that's all I want to talk about. Thank you.